everybody, I'm back. Um, this is just another video of me using Simplified 3D for my printer. And um, what I'm trying to show here is this was set at the Simplified 3D's, uh, I guess the temperature settings. Every, I mean, I had my red, I adjusted some of the settings already, but I didn't change the temperature settings. And um, what I'm trying to show is it is it isn't bad for ABS. It's it was printing at 225 degrees Celsius, and you could see I already have pulled it off of there. You could see little imperfections here and there, but not too bad. I'm not sure if that was because of the low temperature or not. So this is actual fan cover that I'm going to be using for my printer soon. You see the bottom didn't do so great, but it still worked out just fine. It stacked up nice. I still have that very nice 0 0.1 layer height. You can barely see the lines. It looks really flush. Anyway, um, this is just a little update. Just wanted to show you guys how it looks. And you can see up top right here. I don't know if it's skipping a step or it's just because it was dragging because it's not as hot. I'm not sure. My other one didn't have this many like imperfections. But it could be because of the way it was printing too. Like your print lines. So it's all, it's just a bunch of tweaking. But all, all these, uh, all these prints are coming out pretty fine, and I could still just, you know, knock that stuff off. It's not a big deal. But I'm just trying to get it so where it's perfectly made without really any kind of imperfections whatsoever. And I'm getting there. This is just, you know, one of those step-by-step -step processes. So, but yeah, I hope you like the video. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is really, really nice. You can see the back hardly has any imperfections whatsoever. Look at that shine. This is ABS plastic. So, you guys have a great day. This is Legit Lee signing out. Hey guys, I am now going to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, you can see that I actually was able to change out my filament. This is the first ever me trying this. Um, I, I'm still using Simplified 3D. I wrote a command to the printer to be able to actually do this and what it does it pauses the print moves the uh, moves it over so where I can actually access my extruder and actually I mean the hot end and actually pull out, pull out the filament reload a different color and then put in um, then press resume and then it will start printing again so basically I pause the print reload new color filament a different color and then resume the print by pressing resume and you can see that it's printing and it looks just fine I can't wait to see what it looks like fully done so we'll just have to wait and see I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished everybody this is it finished it didn't come out so bad uh, this is my first time doing it. Next time, I know for sure that I will have it start a little uh, before this top area. I mean, it's not coming off or anything. I just feel like I'll have I would have more finer detail in my red, like I do my black right there, if I would have started it just a few layers lower instead of that. Cause I started this layer at um 70 and it only has 76 layers so um that's just a good note for the future but other than that it came out really well it's a bat symbol for batman and uh i got it's a it's for a knob i've designed this knob for my um printer this is going to be on the front of my printer here it didn't take long to print, probably like a good 20 minutes. But with me changing out filament and stuff, it probably took longer than that. But 
Um, for the print itself, it would have just took 20 minutes. Uh, you can see a little hole right there. The, uh, the adhesion on the bottom isn't bad either because you can see, you know, it wasn't so bad. And um, the sides, oh my goodness, those walls are like super fine and detailed. And this is all still ABS plastic. I'm telling you guys, I've really went up and beyond when it comes to printing with ABS plastic. Now I'm trying to mix different colors and filaments and stuff. I have red, black, and white, so I'll be doing stuff like that for those types of filaments. Um, but yeah, this looks really nice. And this cute, this uh, knob is. 27 or 28 millimeters around and 15 millimeters from top to bottom and it has one millimeter offset for the bat symbol I probably should have made it two millimeters to give it a finer detail but you can still see it it's, it's still okay anyway I hope you guys liked the video please like subscribe let me know what you think and uh, if you guys want me to show you how I actually am able to set all this up, just uh, leave a comment in the description below so I can actually show you how to change out your filament colors and pause your printer at a certain layer. Uh, but yeah, this is Legit Lee, signing out.